What's up YouTube? Me again, playing around with this uh, WEN generator. So, uh, in my last video I hadn't actually had a chance to run it yet. I just learned about that new orifice on the uh, natural gas thing. And um, I did mess with it. And uh, actually from the factory it came set to be as high pressure as it possibly could. This guy right here. So... I went ahead and ran it with a load test and everything, and it seemed to do just fine, even though it had a slightly different sound when it was running on propane versus uh, the um, natural gas. It didn't seem to bother it. The frequency, it stayed above 60, which was, it was running right around 62, which is okay, and the, um, the voltage never dropped below 240. So that was cool. Uh, regardless of the fuel, it still did just fine. So this is the permanent install. This is where it's going to be going. It's going to sit actually right there um, and just be outside all the time with a cover. Um, this is a battery start unit. So I've got a battery tender. We're going to be running with this to make sure everything stays as easy for my mother as possible. She's going to be the one that's going to use this in the power outages. So all I did here was I brought a half inch natural gas line out from the house we had an old barbecue here a long time ago and so that pipe's been long gone but the hole for the uh, original plumbing is still there and uh, that was actually the old location of the natural gas barbecue pit anyway so here's what I did uh, right below the meter I just intercepted the original line going into the house and I put in my switch. Uh, this is just a, a standard 100 amp manual transfer switch uh, made by GE. I added these neat little lights on the side. I thought it would be very useful. And my background is uh, commercial facilities. And so I'm used to having indicator lights and stuff like that. You can get those off uh, Amazon. I think I might have paid four or five bucks a piece for them. So you can see I don't have the generator hooked up. So when the generator is hooked up and running then the lower green lights will be on as well. And then I wanted an indication whether or not Amron was still live or not, um, just so that my mom would have a real simple way. I mean, other than looking around at neighbors and seeing if their porch lights are on, this will actually give us a 100% guaranteed notification, you know, if Amron power is available or not. Amron's our local power company here. All right, sorry for the breakage of the uh, videos here. I've been kind of going back and forth with some folks. So in addition to this, um, I went ahead and added a ground rod. So I just drilled mine into the ground here, um, and I've ran this up. And so what I did is on this neutral bar that they give you, I added a copper lug there, and that's giving me my ground rod. And also the whip that I've got coming from my generator also has a ground wire. So I'm just incorporating everything into this one spot. And those little tiny green wires, those are the lights for the side here. Those are all the commons for those. And then on each lug, I've landed one little tiny black one. Same all the way around. And that's what gives me my indication for the, uh, the little side lights here. Um, other than that, it's been pretty good. Uh, I'm going to get everything buttoned up and fired up and, um, it's cold. It's 32 degrees. Snow has fallen just a little bit ago out here, but, um, I can't run the AC. Uh, I don't want to run it in the cold. It's dangerous for these things. You could, you could break them pretty good if you try to run it when it's this cold. So that test will have to be reserved for, uh, spring when it gets a little warmer. But, um, anyway, this is me signing off. I hope this helps somebody else out in the future when they want to do their little project. Um, you know, one thing I could suggest, and, and I don't know if it would help or not, is instead of running half-inch line, maybe try to run three-quarter line. Uh, again, don't know that it would help, but it's a thought. But for what I'm doing, uh, this is going to work just fine for us. All right. Have a go on Facebook. Uh, Facebook. Haha. <laughs> YouTube. Bye-bye.